Hello fellow muggles and welcome to Sims World and if you've been here before welcome back to my YouTube channel. So currently I am in the UK and I'm filming from my Airbnb house, um, well more like room not house. So excuse the super blank background and of course I'm blending in with my white hoodie. By the way I have merch, I'm gonna link it below. I'm just kidding, I don't have merch, that would be absolutely ridiculous, this is my second YouTube video. As I mentioned, I'm in the UK at the moment, and I thought I have to try out all the candy that you can get over here that you can't find in South Africa. If you know me, you know that I have a crazy sweet tooth, I love everything sweet, I love all desserts, all cakes, just give me everything. So I have to say, so far, I've spent most of my money on transport and candy. It's just, I don't know, when I see a candy store here, it just looks so inviting. It looks like it's just such a happy vibe and they're magical. So every time I have to go in and then, of course, you have to get something because it would just be torture not to get candy when you're in a candy store. But today's candy I actually didn't spend too much money on. I got most of it from um, Tesco's, which is a grocery store here. So you don't have to go all out and go to the expensive candy stores. You can get amazing candy at the grocery store. I don't know how it tastes yet, so we're going to try it out today. And then I'll be rating it and telling you if it's worth to get it on your visit here. So I'm excited. Let's get into it. So this is just a quick overview of all the snacks and candy I got to try out. Really excited for this one. And then there's actually a lot of chocolate, which I'm not mad about because I love chocolate. This one we do actually, we have this flavor in South Africa, but I want to try it out and see if it's the same. And then, then we have a twirl and we have a whisper. So let's get into it and see how everything tastes. Okay, so first off we have Jaffa Cakes. I think that's the way to say it, I'm not sure. But um, apparently these have been around like since 1920, so it has to be good. And I think it's like a cake biscuit type thing so it's like based off both worlds and this has 10 cakes in it i actually can't remember how much i spent on each which i should have maybe like included but if i can find my slip i'll tell you guys in the description how much it was You're, i hope you guys can hear me over all the rapper sounds so in the front it's like a, a soft cake and then at the back it's chocolate. I don't know if it's milk chocolate or dark chocolate, but I guess we'll find out now. So here goes the first one. Hmm, that's surprising. Mm. Not sure if I like the surprise. <laughs> In the middle it's like the cake, and then on top there's like a tiny layer of jam but it can't be jam because it's dark like chocolate jam i don't really like that flavor oh wait it has to be it's probably orange yeah it tastes like orange because you can see the little the text is like in orange slices so it has like an orange flavor to it personally i don't really like <laughs> when there is fruit in my candy or my food so i don't know i don't like it that much i'll give it like a two and a half out of five like trust me i wouldn't buy this again i don't even know if i should take a second bite but i have to i feel like okay before i rate it let me just take another bite like the moment it gets into the orange flavor I don't like it anymore 
when I just taste the chocolate and the cake part, it's perfect, then I love it. But yeah, the middle part, not for me. I'm gonna stick with a two and a half out of five. <laughs> So, just need to make sure my teeth is clean every time. There's a lot of chocolate involved. So, if you guys see something in my teeth, just this chocolate is worth it. Okay, I feel like that was very chocolatey, so we should try something different now. So, I got this um, sherbet fountain, which I think is probably something you get when you're younger, because you don't really eat sherbet that much when we're older. But I'm excited to try it. This was to open. Ha, huh, okay. Okay, and then inside, inside there's like this weird rod thing. I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. I don't know if this maybe comes with instructions. It doesn't. So. Oh, sherbet with licorice dipping stick. So that is, it's not a rod. <laughs> it's a dipping stick. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if licorice and sherbet goes together though. This is also really messy. I mean, sherbet usually is. So I don't know if you're supposed to just like liquor this part of it. Okay. Your. That is, that is such a weird combo, licorice and sherbet. It will basically take you forever to eat all of that sherbet with, by dipping this. And I wonder how the licorice tastes. Oh, it's super hard. Like you can't, like my tooth actually hurts now. Like the first two. Like, Don't try and bite it. <laughs> Maybe if you lick it enough, like as you dip it, it will get softer with time, but don't, like on the get go, don't bite it. It really hurts. But like the sherbet, it's pretty good sherbet. I haven't had sherbet in such a long time. But it's like very fizzy, like when you put it in your mouth, I feel like it could actually be popping candy. Like how cool would that be? If they combined sherbet with popping candy i feel like that's a really good idea um so this one definitely better than the jaffa cake jaffa cake don't know how to say it and i'm actually continuing to eat it even though at first the licorice was a bit like what but now i like it would i buy it again though i don't know because it's not it's not as sweet as I like. I like more like candy that's sweet. But it's interesting. I'm gonna give it like a three and a half out of five. I don't know if my ratings are like too high. But yeah. I'm enjoying this one. Definitely a solid three and a half out of five. I'm probably gonna finish this later <laughs> so I'll leave that for afterwards okay so now we're ready for a chocolatey thing again after the sherbet so we have a twirl we have a double decker and then we have a whisper so there's like three chocolate bars that I have here so now the question is which one to go first let's go for the whisper first so they say this is an aerated Cadbury milk chocolate bar so aerated and it says tiniest bubbles the biggest taste <laughs> so I think this is kind of going to be like our aero I did see you also get arrows here anyway which is another thing that I noticed when I was researching actually what type of candy to get a lot of the candy that came up was candy that we already or like candy and snacks that we already had in South Africa 
which made me happy as a sweet tooth because at least I know I'm not missing out on that many different candies that I could have but I still feel like there's a lot more variety here like even with the cold drinks I've noticed it's like we have Coke Zero that's it and here you get like Coke Zero Vanilla, Coke Zero Strawberry, Coke Zero Lime like they have all the flavors in Coke Zero I'm just like I wish we had that but I am moving soon so I guess then I'll be able to indulge in all of that I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go for the whisper now. Mm. Very much like an arrow. I'm tried. Mm. Ew, it's amazing actually. It's so good. I know I shouldn't take another bite because I have a lot of chocolate to go, but I'm going to because it's so good. Five out of five, no doubt. It's just amazing. Oh, I can't eat the whole one now because oh, I still have a few to go. But this is definitely being saved for later. <laughs> Let's just stay on the chocolate topic. So this is the double decker, and it says the double filling bar, nougat top. Whoa, that sounds good. And crispy bottom and Cadbury milk chocolate. I think this is gonna be amazing because I love Nuga. It's definitely one of my favorite things. And I like that it's something with chocolate. That's always nice. So you can see it's like completely covered in chocolate again. love that texture as your pardon it's so gooey and soft and then at the bottom it's like balls of <laughs> wafer balls <laughs> which doesn't sound appealing but they are they work really nice with the texture it's like so many textures it's like the smooth chocolate the gooey nougat and then the wafer balls like crispy it's quite messy though so like chocolate all around me now <laughs> I'm a lot harder to chew and weirdly now that I've tasted it a bit it has like kind of an espresso-y aftertaste I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's just my taste buds being weird but this one I also really like it I do like the wisp more though so I'm gonna give this one like a four and a half because it is really good I think it's worth it trying it especially if you like nougat so, four and a half for the double decker. I feel like I need a water break because uh, my water's like all the way over there. I'm just gonna, just gonna carry on. <laughs> it's too far, so much effort. So next we have the twirl. Yeah, it's, it's just like the name sounds fun. Oh. Give this twirl a whirl. So that's their slogan. That's cute. I like that. And this one says intense Cadbury milk chocolate hit. So that honestly doesn't tell me at all what is inside. Um, so it's a surprise. Let's get into it. Like it kind of feels like it should be caramelly. Don't know if that's a word, but caramelly because of the gold. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, so there's two pieces actually. So that's nice if you want to share. Wants to share the chocolate. But if you want to, you actually get two. Ta-da! So I guess I can keep one for my husband later. 
Shane, he's at work, so I'm enjoying candy while he's at work. Okay, so it's like quite a thin chocolate where the others were like a full bar. And then it was like completely covered in chocolate again. Oh, it's like a flake inside. So, mm, not completely like a flake, but kind of like a flake because flake, I guess, is more like this way. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. While well, this is, as the name says, it's like chocolate that's like twirled like this. But it's just like chocolate. It doesn't have anything else to it. I think maybe I shouldn't have expected the caramel because now I'm kind of like, oh, I wanted caramel. What you could do is maybe dip it in a caramel sauce. I feel like this is a nice thing for like dipping. If you can, like it would be pretty sweet if you dip this into another sweet thing. But I mean, I could do that. So if you like sweet stuff that much, I would definitely recommend that. It's also maybe nice to like put it in an ice cream, which you do with a flake. So yeah, I don't know. It's just a bit underwhelming compared to the other ones that I've already had. And like the flavor, even though the, what? The wisp, the wisp was also just chocolate basically, but I don't know, the flavor was just so good. And this one, I don't feel like the flavor is that good. Mm. I'm gonna say a three out of five for the swirl. So, we have one more chocolatey thing to go. I'm so sweet. Last chocolate to go. This is a Fredo, which apparently is something that a lot of younger kids get, like you eat it while you're at school. It looks, it has like a little frog on it. Um, I have a feeling this is also gonna be just like chocolate. <laughs> Maybe in the shape of a frog, which is cool because it's kind of like the, um, Harry Potter frogs, but not. <laughs> so it's cute. You can see it's a little frog. It's the same picture that was on the wrapping. And let's see if there's something inside. Mm. There's nothing inside. <laughs> Again, you know what would be nice? Caramel inside. But this is a nice chocolate. It's definitely better than the twist chocolate flavor. I know chocolate is chocolate, but there's a difference though. It just, it just tastes different. So, flavor wise, I think this one is better, but it's also a bit underwhelming. As I mean, what's nice about this is it's small. So if you just want something small that's sweet and you don't want to take in too many extra calories like if you're on a diet and you just have that chocolate craving this is maybe a good choice because it's not a whole chocolate bar because i mean let's be honest if you buy the whole bar you have to eat the whole bar like you can't leave it so this is nice for just like a tiny treat <laughs> but hmm. i will give it like a three out of five I'm forgetting what I actually rated the other things, so I don't know if it's like in line with the rest of my ratings, but I'm gonna go for a three out of five. Okay, so moving on from the chocolates, this is a candy, but back in South Africa, this is actually my favorite chip, so you get the prawn chips from Woolworths, and it's my favorite flavor. A few other stores also try to do it, but they just didn't get the prawn flavor right. It just ends up tasting like either weird or like fishy or just like dodgy. So I wanted to see how the Tesco's version is because when I move here, like what chips am I gonna eat? So I wanna try the prawn one. 
see how it compares to South Africa. Yo, there's like a very like salty smell that comes out when you open it. I'm just looking for like a nice shape. It has the same shape as ours, so that's a good sign. You know what? I think I actually like this one more, which is really good because it means I'm not going to be craving corn chips when I'm over here. It like has a very, very similar taste, but this one is just like a little bit better, which is weird because for us, Woolworths is like everything, you know, like. Woolworths is always the base. Like if you want nice food, you get it from Woolworths. Yes, you're gonna pay like three times the price, but at least you know it's gonna be good. But this was, I have no idea how much this cost, but it was, you know, it was pretty cheap. Definitely cheaper than Woolworths, <laughs> actually, which is weird when you consider we have brands that mean like nothing compared to pounds. And, but I still think, I think it was maybe just like 20 Rand if you convert it to Rand. I'll check, I'll double check that. But I really like it. I'm very happy. It was definitely 5 out of 5. No, no other rating would be fair. Mm. It's just like, it's just like a little bit more flavour. It just like has a boost of flavour. Mm. Probably gonna put on a movie and eat the rest of us. So good, very happy. Five out of five. I mean, we're at our last one. I can't believe that they went so quickly. But it is the one that I've been looking forward to the most. So it's the um, Harry Potter 30 Bobs Airy flavored beans. I have wanted to have this for like, I can't even tell you how many years. So we have this candy store in South Africa at one of the casinos where they have imported candy. And that was, at a stage, the only place where you could find these, um, which I heard from a friend. I didn't even see them. Then of course I had to go to the candy store and they didn't have it anymore. I was like devastated. It's like I'm never gonna be able to try these. So the fact that they, they have it everywhere here, it's like, well, it makes sense. It's England, so I guess Harry Potter a really big thing. But so excited they even have um like chocolate Harry Potter ones. Like you can get different people's ones and like chocolate. But that was quite pricey. That was like ten pounds, which is like a hundred, hundred rand, no, two hundred rand. So I couldn't really pay 200 Rand for a stick of chocolate, but it was cool to see it. And then they also have like jelly spiders, obviously they have the frogs as well. But I had to get this one because I've been wanting it so long. And this was, I think, five pounds, which is saying 100 Rand. So it is quite expensive because this is only, 54 grams, so it's a tiny packet, but I don't care to be honest. So it has like one, two, three, four. Twenty different flavours, which is cool. I don't know if the packet's gonna actually have all 20 flavours in there, but we have banana, black pepper, weird, blueberry. The booger one, whoa, candy floss, love that one, cherry, cinnamon, also love cinnamon, dirt, that's gonna be interesting, I wonder if it will actually taste like that, earthworm, oh, I'm getting nervous now, <laughs> earwax, grass, green apple, marshmallow, rotten egg, oh, really don't want to try that one, sausage, <laughs> Lemon, soap, tutti frutti, oh, vomit, 
and then watermelon. So I'm gonna throw these out on a plate and then we're gonna see if we can mix, mix if we can match the flavors of the picture. So I've got there are definitely some flavors that I don't want to try, but I feel like I have to. I have to. So, here we go. So, as you can see, oh, I don't know, it's gonna like fall over. Oh. So, those are the beans. It's not a lot, but hopefully, there's one of each flavor at least. So, I'm gonna go down like the row. So, I think. I don't know if the see now like some of them look similar. So the problem is this one could either be vomit or it could be banana. So that's like honestly I don't like bananas, it might taste the same to me. <laughs> but or is this one banana? I guess smelling it is cheating. Okay, we're just gonna go and we're gonna see if it's vomit or banana. Definitely not banana. Oh, like oh, I have to get water now. <sighs> the vomit. You know that smell of old vomit, like, you know if you go into a pub or something and then you can just like smell in the bathrooms that people have peeped here before? That is what that tasted like. It was just, and it's like, like parts of it are still stuck inside and you can, oh, but now and again it like comes through, that smell is just, I don't like it and there's like why there's like a few here there's like one two three four vomits four why maybe this one as well see that one you don't even know you, you can't tell it's like I'm just gonna put the dangerous ones to the side so it wasn't banana <laughs> maybe this one I couldn't see if this was gonna be vomit or banana, but it is a lot more yellow than the other ones. So I think it might be a banana. Honestly guys, I don't even know what that was. What was that? Was that the rotten egg? I don't know. I can't. That was such a weird flavor. It doesn't. It has to be the rotten egg. It wasn't good. But I don't know what else it could have been. It didn't taste like egg, but it tasted horrible. So <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> Very confusing. Let's move on and try something. Try something safe. I think. I think this is a cinnamon. If it's not a cinnamon, it's probably a cherry. If it's not a cherry, it could it could be an earthworm. But it looks like the earthworm has like spots on it, and this one doesn't really have spots, so <sighs> please don't let it be an earthworm. Definitely not cinnamon or cherry. Because I don't know. It, it has like an earthy taste, it tastes kind of a bit like dirt in a way. Which on the topic, there is a dirt one. So I don't know if I should just try that. So far, I'm really not enjoying this experience. 
feel like I had such good candy <laughs> and now I'm like eating earthworms and stuff. just to get a flavor out okay let's go for green because the worst it could be is grass which is not that bad like at least it's not an insect or something so I'm gonna go for the it's like a I think this is watermelon because it's like a dark green and has like a little bit of uh, I don't know it looks like it has a little bit of a reddish tint but yeah so I think this is watermelon watermelon we got one right and it's actually good tastes exactly like watermelon even though I don't eat watermelon but like flavored things that I've had that taste like watermelon it tastes exactly like that so that was good very happy with that I think this is also watermelon or this might be the green apple because the grass is a bit lighter than the other ones so green apple I'm on a roll Okay, and then I'm gonna try the last green one, which is probably the grass. Can't be that bad. Mm. The grass is really not that bad. It has like a plant flavor to it. I wouldn't know if it's grass, but it has like the way plants smell. It kind of has that a, a little bit of that, but not like too much. Like I don't know the vomit and the other ones. Like whoa, they could have really scaled down on the flavoring there. But I mean, they do say it's vomit, so I guess you should expect it. But yeah, the grass really not that bad. I would eat another grass, another grass. Okay. Okay, so let's go for the blue because it's just like the color stands out to me a lot and I think this is the blueberry there's not anything else that looks similar to it so it has to be the blueberry Yum. that one's really good it has so much flavor to it it's just like bursts of blueberry and all these things are like stuck in my teeth I'm gonna have to floss after this. Are we good? Okay, yeah, so I really enjoyed the blueberries. So much flavor in that one. Okay, I wanna try these colorful ones. I'm assuming that's the Tutti Fruity. Let's go. Mm. Wow, this tastes exactly like a chappy. And also, I don't know if everyone used this, but when you were little, you got like a Colgate toothpaste that had like glitter inside. It was obviously for kids. It was like a very shocking blue color and it had glitter inside. That tastes exactly like that and I loved it. So bringing back some childhood memories of cleaning my teeth which is ironic because this is like getting stuck in my teeth but I really like the tutti fruity flavor <sighs> should we try a horrible one again okay so I think this is dirt it's like a brown purple color there's nothing else but color so it has to be dirt let's find out what dirt tastes like Uh. 
very similar to the earthworm like it was definitely the other one was definitely an earthworm because the dirt and the earth very in line both disgusting don't like it not gonna have another dirt ever um i want to try the sausage i want to see if they can like get that meaty flavor i don't actually know if i have a sausage i think it might be this one because it's like a bit brown purple with like speckles on it which the sausage here looks a bit more brown but let's see that is so weird it definitely has a sausage ugh, a sausage flavor to it you get like that meaty it kind of tastes like sausages you'll have for breakfast it's just like so weird eating it in that form like in the candy form it's just like what it feels so weird but they nailed the flavor they absolutely got sausage it would be interesting to like see if you eat the beans without seeing the flavors like if you can actually guess what it is i feel like i should get another packet and then let my husband try it and see what he thinks it is without showing him what the flavors are or even if I have left, then because I'm not gonna eat the vomit ones. <laughs> but I don't know if I can do that to him, that just feels horrible. But moving on. So the yellow we've done, yellow, and it was. Oh, that was the vomit, and the other one we couldn't figure out what that was. So it was probably rotten eggs, and I'm too scared to eat the other yellow. Because we still haven't had a banana. The other ones are lemon and possibly, possibly booger. But these ones don't have spots on them and the booger has a bit of spots on them. Honestly, I don't want to try booger because the flavors have so far been really like on point and I'm too nervous to try that. <laughs> So let's try soap. I think this is a soap because it's light blue. Only light blue one. It tastes like bubble bath. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. on the bed and it's melted okay it looks like it was only one piece or it's on my clothes I don't know can't find it but back to the soap weirdly I really like soap it does taste like bubble bath so it has like a clean taste to it um i really want to try candy flowers that was the one i was really excited about it's like a light pink so hopefully this one is good mm. it was really good definitely tastes like candy flowers one thing it's not like the flavor isn't as like punchy as the other ones i feel like they could have like added a bit more candy floss to it okay so next what should we try i'm not sure like okay so we, i'm gonna group them quickly so i can see what i haven't tried okay we've done tutti frutti we've done dirt definitely not doing that again um We've done the blueberry. That was, yeah, so far I think the blueberry was my favorite. Then, the dirt. There's a few like purple ones here that I'm not sure about. Oh, they're probably the sausage ones, yeah. Okay. So, 
sausage done the yellow ones i have no idea like these yellow ones all look different that are left <gasps> is this actually the banana like there's a very faint spot on it should we do it i'm so nervous i really don't want the rotten egg one again like that is is are those maybe the boogers because it's like the second time i ate the yellow and it's like what is that it's not rotten egg because you know you know what egg tastes like and i think it has to be the booger and you know like i don't know what the language is like below are but it literally just like says snot <laughs> it's just like not appealing at all like oh. And the earwax says Wurschmier. I think that's maybe like Dutch because I can kind of understand it. But you're just like... Okay, I'm done with the yellows. I don't care that I haven't tried the banana or the lemon. It's not happening anymore. Like, I don't even like banana that much. And lemon, I can really be without that. So I'm done with those. Then we have a few red ones left. We did do earthworm unexpectedly. So now the thing is there's salt, cherry, and cinnamon left. But I really don't want the earthworm again. <laughs> and it's like they say the earthworm has spots on it, but the previous red one didn't have spots on it, so I could just get another earthworm. But this one is like it's like such a nice color that I feel like it should be cherry. Come on, be a cherry. It's a cherry. <laughs> like eating this is so entertaining because you honestly don't know what you're gonna get. It's like you feel very anxious and then so relieved when you actually get the flavor you were expecting. I feel like if I look at the pile we have mm, I think this one is a rotten egg but it's like uh, and like I said I was done with the yellows but it seems like very faint yellow but I have to That one was actually the worst. Oh, that... No, 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 no. Oh, that one was definitely the rotten egg. Oh, don't try the rotten egg. That was way worse than the earthworm, the burger, the everything. Like, no. So I think we're gonna wrap this up. And we're gonna have the the famous earwax. I think it's the earwax. That's the thing you don't know. But I think it is the earwax. Let's see. Earwax is really not that bad compared to everything else that we've been through. Maybe my taste buds are just so messed up by this time. But I can deal with earwax. The ones that I can't deal with. Earthworm. Dirt. Horrible. Booger. We think it's a booger, we don't know. And the vomit. The rotten egg. Did I already say rotten egg? I don't know, but it deserves to be there twice because it was so bad. My favourite ones, blueberry, that was so good. The Tutti Fruity, also really like that one. And then from the weird ones, the soap was actually pretty good. I would eat another soap. I'm gonna eat enough with another soap. 
so good. So that's all the candy I have today. Let me just eat first. <laughs> that's all the candy I have to try today. If I spot any other ones that I want to try out, I'll definitely add it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to Sims World if you want more updates. I'm going to be doing a whole video on my trip here and everywhere we went. So make sure you check out for when that's up.